Hey YouTube, it's Elvis Ammo here. Hey, today I'm gonna make some slow burning fuses so that I can play with some fireworks this uh, this holiday on Independence Day, 4th of July. I'm gonna use medium heat, a pan, a third of a cup of regular water. And I got it hot already. <laughs> and I'm going to use 36 grams of potassium nitrate, 24 grams of regular table sugar, and I'm going to stir this up. I had the pan nice and hot. <laughs> I'm going to stir this up until it comes to a uh, a good frothy mix this is a uh, an example of a fuse that I stole from one of Grant Thompson's videos but I wanted something I could use for fireworks so as soon as this comes to a froth which will be real soon I've played with this before and it's uh, it, it worked out pretty decent um, I have uh, I have approximately 12 15 feet or so of 100% cotton yarn that's the name of it and I'm going to experiment with this other 100% cotton yarn or string it's um, it's this stuff right here. So I'm thinking uh, I like the thick stuff pretty good, but I'm wondering what the thin stuff will do for me. So that's uh, potassium nitrate stump remover. regular household granulated sugar and as soon as this starts to lift into a froth I will throw my yarn and string right in there that's the plan As soon as I stop mixing it, it'll probably do that. And then we'll soak this string that I have up, have here, into the mix. You got to do it pretty quick because it'll it'll evaporate out and dry on you fast. And as an experiment, I'm going to use maybe 10 feet of this thinner cotton string here. It's starting to come up here now. Yep, yep. Getting real close. So the black string is uh, is called. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Oh, this is uh, <laughs> the wrong one. hundred percent mercerized cotton right there um, and this is um, is just white cotton hundred percent cotton yarn and it's getting into a pretty good froth here so give it a, another mix real good Oh yeah, now it's time to do it. Oh. I think maybe my heat might be a little too low. Get all this stuff. 
stuff mixed in here good. It didn't look like it was too low when I threw that water in there. Okay, you can see that lifting up pretty good. I'm gonna call that. I might not be able to get this other string in there fast enough. I'm gonna try it though. <laughs> we'll just, uh, I'll get it untangled off camera hopefully. You just want to get it soaked up real good. Alright, I'm just going to let you see the, the end of this. Um, nothing to freak out about. Um, it gets kind of... You know, everything gets moving kind of fast on you. What you do is you don't let it cool too much, but cool enough just to touch. And I use my glove fingers to just wipe off all of that and just pull it. And you just let all that wipe off in your fingers. Um, this is slightly different than what I've done it before, which kind of makes me think this is going to be better just from my first experience with it. So, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to spread it out onto this, uh, onto this dish. And then, um, this is just a, uh, a, a broiler sheet and I put some tin foil on it to protect it and uh, I put some parchment paper down on it maybe we'll have a little fun with this little chunk right here as well <laughs> so anyway so now what I'm gonna do that I've got this spread out is I'm gonna pick off any any little chunks off the pan don't need those really and uh, I don't know how this thin string it, it might be uh, I've never done it with this string here before but um, this this thin string it might be too thin to and and uh, and not absorbent enough and the whole idea here to put this on the pan the way that I have it is because when we're going to put this in the oven at uh, 300 degrees for approximately 20 minutes um, and you want to be sure that you don't have your broiler on because you don't want a du direct hit direct heat on it from my experience and um, and after 20 minutes, we're gonna take this out and that'll all be baked in. And then we'll try these out. I'll bring you back and we'll uh, light these up and see how they work as fuses and including our thin black string and uh, see what we got. All right, let's try this out. So uh, I baked this in the oven for um, I said 300 for 20, but I would bet it's uh, about 375 for 20. The ultimate goal here is to get it golden brown. Um, otherwise, it'll be a little underdone and maybe uh, won't ignite for you real good. So let's cut a piece of this off. See, it looks like this. Kind of stiff. And... We're going to try out some of my uh, homemade black powder that I made in another video. String some out right there. 
I'm going to light it off with one of these fuses. We won't have to be nowhere near it. We'll just stick it in there like that. Make sure you can see that. And we'll light it off and see how the fuse does. There it goes. Nice low rate of burn. There we go. <laughs> All right. So now I uh, I made a, a firecracker and stuck a fuse in it, and we'll try it out on that and see what that looks like. Homemade black powder firecracker. Homemade fuse. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, it moved the uh, the heavy steel. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not bad for experimental. Thank you, YouTube.